Hey guys, welcome to this week's lesson segment on Weekly Outdoor Plus. Jay Sins here with you again as always. And uh, this week we're gonna go over, since it's right now in the middle of hunting season, you know, turkeys are starting to go around and again, you can start getting ready for deer and everything, obviously. Uh, what we're gonna be going over is not how to make the perfect shot, but how to get to the point so that that perfect shot that we've been talking about making for how long, how we can make that become a reality and how to make it, you know, the best chances and how to make you calm your nerves and stuff along those lines. Um, the first thing is obviously be confident in your shot by how many times you're going to be practicing and everything going over the perfect form like we talked about. And again, if you practice it every day, it's going to be like riding a bike. Once you get the form down, it gets a lot easier. Then it's all your nerves and all your mental game and setting up and preparation. So first thing is, you know, with turkey hunt especially right now is what I'm going to reference to. Um, most of you guys are going to be hunting on fields majority of the time. Shooting on an open field is a lot harder than deceiving on telling how far the birds are going to be from you. One, they're a little bit smaller, but it's on a wide open field, so you might think they're a lot farther. You might also think they're a lot closer when they're all strutted up and big because, you know, they look a lot bigger, but you got to also know when they're really small, they're going to look like they're a lot farther. So the way easiest way to do this is either one, have your rangefinder on hand at all times so you can either do it yourself or have someone next to you be telling you how far they are. Um, another thing would be get some sort of peg or flag in your yard, you know, anything, if you have someone public service come and mark your pipes, take them flags and save them, put them in your field at, you know, 20, 30, 40, you're not going to scare anything away with simple flags like that. Um, if you're worried about that, you know, get more natural things, put certain size rocks out there so you can tell 20, 30, 40 yards. Um, being prepared and knowing your distance is going to be key to making a perfect shot because you're not going to be worrying in the back of your head, is it 20 yards, is it 30 yards, is it 40 yards? You're going to know it's 25 and a half yards because it's halfway between these rocks or stumps or flags, whatever you put out. Um, the next thing is, so you don't have to, you know, basically it's almost like a dummy system where you know what to do. Easiest way to do it, in my opinion, is write it down in steps, okay? So first thing, you know, know my distance. Second thing I want you to do is make sure that you're going to be having an idea of where they're coming from so you can be properly positioned like we talked about. If you're, especially if you're going to stay seating, have your body turned in the correct position to be shooting at what you're going to be your target. Um, the next thing is you already know your form and everything. You know your shot process. It's going to be pick out that spot on the animal. Don't be looking at the turkey's big fan. Don't be looking at its big beard. Don't be looking at, you know, its beautiful head or whatever you're looking at. Look at that little patch of feathers that you want to pound your arrow through, you know, find the creases that match up where you can hit it right there. Or if it's facing away from you, find the perfect spot to shoot it. Um, if you basically know your distance, you know your, you know, what you're going to be shooting at, you know where you're going to be shooting at it. You already know the form part. We already went over that for how long. Now you just got to be confident in your shot. You've made the shot, you know, 10 times in a row. You shoot a group this big, well, why not put one arrow right there? It's only one arrow. It's not that hard. Think about it like that. Think about it as a one arrow shot instead of uh, worrying about killing it or not. Because if you, I mean, on most of these animals, you're going to be shooting at the size of a softball. If you can't shoot at the size of a softball, you might want to shoot closer or practice more because then you'll be confident in shooting at that size of an animal. And, you know, pick the perfect spot. You miss it by an inch, you still hit vitals. You still kill the animal. So plan ahead on where you can actually get your perfect shot. Make sure that you got everything set up so you feel comfortable. You don't want to be guessing about, you know, the wind. You don't want to be guessing about is the sun going to be glaring off of something. You don't want to worry about how far it really is. Make sure you have all your different variables figured out ahead of time. Even while you're sitting there, if you didn't do it, you know, if you didn't scout enough before you get there, make sure you scout when you're sitting there. You know, don't just be looking around for turkeys right away or looking around for deer right away. Get these different markers down, you know, plan ahead, okay? Know exactly what you're going to be doing. Have a fallout plan, you know, and set ranges for yourself. You know, if you don't have it where, oh, it's at 50 yards, I think I can take that shot. If you don't think you can and you're pretty confident in that, plan ahead of time and then work on getting them closer. You know, you, you win some, you lose some. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But the more good shots you make, the more consistent you get, the more happy you're going to be and the more success you'll have with making the exact shot that you need. You know how to make the one good one. Now you got to make the one that counts. And all it is is, again, You've done it a hundred times. There's no reason to be nervous. It's a simple, you know, same shot you've always made. Don't worry about that. Pick your spot is the big key. And then know your distances so you're not second guessing everything. Good luck this week. Hopefully we got some turkey pictures coming in. If you don't, I mean, check us out on Facebook or email them to us or send it in a message on Facebook or uh, YouTube. You can always look at our films again if you got any questions. Um, feel free to call the shop or drop off photos. We'd love to put you guys on the show. It'd be cool to see what's getting shot around town and or in and out of the state. It doesn't even matter. So. Uh, as always, good luck hunting and hopefully I'll see you guys next week.